everyone welcome back to another video thank you so much for watching and today I'll be showing you how to install custom firmware on your PSP 1000 fat model and the PSP 2000 slim model so custom firmware allows you to read files that the original firmware cannot this allows you to play different games from PS1 Super Nintendo Game Boy etc you can also add different custom themes and different types of apps to optimize your device so just a quick disclaimer before we begin, there is a potential of breaking your PSP device if you do not follow these steps and if you do not install the folders correctly or if you lose power during your setup. I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your device, so I will not be replacing it if anything were to happen. This is a simple tutorial and you should follow each step carefully. I'll begin with the PSP 1000 model. It is required for your system software to be at 6.60. As you can see, I'm at 5.00 and I'll be showing you how to install the latest update of 6.60. First, we will need our AC adapter if your battery is not fully charged. Next, we're going to need a Memory Stick Pro Duo card, and I'm going to be using a 256 megabyte card. You can go as low as 64 megabytes for the files that are required for this tutorial. Next, we will need a USB cable to transfer the files from the PC to our device. Let's begin by adding your memory card onto your device. Next, you can connect your 5V AC adapter to your PSP. Moving on to our USB cable, connect it to your PSP, then to your PC. This step is not required, but I like to format my memory card so I can start off in a clean slate. You can find this under System Settings and go to Format Memory Stick. Make sure to back up any files you have saved on your memory stick if you're going to do this. Okay, so we are going to download our first file, and that is the official firmware 6.60 by Sony, and I'll be leaving a link in the description below. Under download options, click on the zip link. That should begin the download. You should have received a zip file, and from there we're going to extract our files, and you can use any location to extract them. I like to use documents because it's just easier for me to track my files. You now have a new folder and what you want to do is click all the way in until you find the folder update. Next you want to open your PSP drive and go into the folder called PSP. Then you go into game and then you can copy your update folder onto your PSP. It should take a few seconds for it to copy the files onto your device. Once it's done we can go back to our console and install the update. You can back out a USB connection and then go to your game memory stick and you should see the update version 6.60. You can start the launch by pressing X. It does take a minute for it to launch but once it's loaded you can just follow the simple steps and you should be good to go. The update installation does take about 5 to 10 minutes. Just make sure that you have your power cord connected and that you don't turn off your device. Once the update is completed, you can press X to restart the device. Double check your version by going to system settings and then going into system information. Now we can move on to the next step. Let's go back to USB connection. Let's now download our custom firmware which is going to be Pro C2. The link will be in the description below. Make sure to use the second link which is the mediafire.com. Once you click on it, it will get you to a new window and from there just use the green button to download the file. Now you want to find the downloaded file and you want to extract it. As we did before, we want to right click and extract the file to a desired location. If you don't have 7-zip, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download it and install it. It's very easy to use. Find the extracted folder, double click and you should see two new folders. One called PSP and the other SE plugins. Open up your PSP drive and from there we're going to copy the first folder which is SE plugins 
onto the drive. Now onto your PSP drive, go into the folder called PSP, then go into game. Now go back to the extracted folder and click on PSP, then go into game. And then those two folders, or three folders, I'm sorry, should be copied onto the PSP drive. Going back to the PSP console, we're going to get out of USB mode and go into game, memory stick, and launch the pro update. A small options menu will pop up on the upper left corner and all you have to do is press X to install the custom firmware. Then you press X to restart the device. Your PSP is now running on custom firmware, pretty awesome. You can go back to your system settings, go into system information and you should now see the update version of 6.60 Pro C. There's a really cool feature after you get the custom firmware on here and that is a VSH menu which you can access by pressing select. The recovery menu is for advanced users only and I would be very cautious on using that. Now the final step we're going to go back into game memory stick and we are going to launch the CIPL flasher for Pro C. Now the reason why we're going to use this is to permanently have the custom firmware added onto your system. Now if you don't use this, if you ever power down, reboot, or if your device just dies, you won't have the custom firmware and you would have to use the fast recovery to just kind of reawaken the custom firmware. Now installing it is very easy, all you have to do is press X and once it's done, it should restart within 5 seconds. Now here I'm shutting down my device to double check that everything went smoothly. As you can see, I still have my custom firmware and everything is good to go. Moving on to the 2000 model, the slim version, and the software is at 3.60, so we are going to have to update to 6.60. This is very easy, all we have to do is grab our memory card we just added the files onto our PSP 1000 and use it onto our PSP 2000. Once the console reads the memory card, you want to go into game, memory stick, and run the 6.60 software update. It's going to take a few minutes to load, but once it does, all you have to do is just follow the steps like we did before on the PSP 1000. It's very simple, very easy. Once you got it going, it should take 5 to 10 minutes to fully install. Finally, you can press X and the device should restart. Alright, so 6.60 successfully installed. Now we can go back and run Pro Update.
Once the little menu pops up, just press X and you should install the custom firmware. Now press X to restart your device with the new custom firmware. Always go back to your firmware to make sure everything was properly installed. Here's a quick tip, just press on the select button and the VA search menu will appear and you can only get that if you have custom firmware. Finally, you run the CIPL flasher for Pro C and that will permanently give you that firmware. Press X and you are finally done. Now I'm removing my memory card and just rebooting my system just to make sure that everything went flawlessly. And now you can start adding all sorts of games from the original Nintendo all the way up to the PS1. Please subscribe to the channel so you guys can keep up with all the tutorials that I'll be releasing here very soon on how to install all these games. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This video took me several hours to put together. So I hope you found this information very useful for you. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.